everyone. It's time to unbox the second box that I've received from your creative studio this morning. Um, I'm just hope, <laughs> hoping it's not butterflies again. I didn't realise there were mystery boxes. I thought each monthly box would um, have a theme and that would be advised in advance but um, my ignorance there. But I've only ordered those two boxes just to uh, try them out. It's a trial run for me. Wasn't impressed with the butterflies, but I'm hoping this one will be better. So I'll just get it open. And again, nicely packaged. And a thank you card for what's inside. So I'll take the contents out of the box and we'll see what uh, this month has to offer. There is no uh, date on the box. The last one I had was February, so I'm assuming this one is March. So we will begin with the masking tape or washi tape and it's a nature theme. Which is very pretty. And in fact I don't have anything uh, like that by way of washi tape. I've got nature nature themed items if anyway, but uh, no washi. Uh, as usual they send one or two clean stamps. Be interesting to see what they've sent. These are quite sweet. Wildflowers and on stems. And there are four of those. It's a pretty one. Not very up on flowers. Very pretty and usable. So I'm pleased with those. And I'm assuming these are the same, but I will check just in case. No, it's different. So here we've got some script with some of those wildflowers running through it. Again, very pretty. And I'm pleased with that. Yeah, I like that. These tickets are bird themed, animals with a bunny there, uh, ideal for Easter I should imagine, and quite a few of them. I'm not going to fetch them out of this, but quite a few and I'm pleased with those too. Yeah. The Pursuit of Happiness. These are vellum, printed vellum. Pieces of ephemera. Tickets in the main I like those <laughs> actually got the beetles on that one <laughs> it's 
so not necessarily old but uh, useful in, in any project cinema tickets even yeah I like those yeah I'll put them back in later um, now then what have we got here seems to be more in this um, box than the last one and I like the variety too no it's a lift up right so lots of labels different shapes and there are a lot Lots and lots of them. And small ones too. Why I'm not keen on mystery boxes, um, even though this is good quality, it's beautiful. Uh, I can't fault it for that. But I have just got some digitals with all numbering and labels on. And had none that these were included I wouldn't have ordered the digital so I'm doubling up all the time and um, not a good thing we spend enough on crafting don't we but I do like those right again um, more printed vellum sheets with text all sorts but uh, mainly a nature theme again some coloured ones at the back which are very sweet I like those and now I've got these oh, I really must make something I'm too fond of buying things and holding them Taking them out, having a look at them, putting them back. It's not the uh, <laughs> it's not the way to go, is it really? But I dare say we all do it. These are called cottage garden. And they're small pieces of ephemera uh, papers rather than uh, with a floral theme to them, a nature theme. They're all different and they're tiny. And I like that. I like the fact that they are tiny patterns. And these would be usable in uh, one of my doll's houses, which I've yet to decorate. And I have the uses apart from journaling. I like those, beautiful. Here we've got uh, more stickers, these are. I won't fetch them all out, but I'll just show you a few. They're beautiful. Plenty of those. These are lovely too. Lovely and thick. Beautiful quality. Add six there, six of each style. Beautiful journaling cards, and the back is as beautiful as the front. I'm impressed with those, absolutely lovely. lovely.
here we've got it looks like six by six papers coordinating with these beautiful wildflowers and foliage They aren't a thin paper either, they're, they're a nice quality. But text, I like the text with the wildflowers. So it's, it's a thin card. Beautifully done, I like that. So I'm not disappointed with this box at all. Had I been a butterfly person, I wouldn't have been disappointed with the box of butterflies, but um, I just think they're a bit overdone. I know a lot of people like butterflies. Uh, when I was in the funeral profession, uh, uh, we did a funeral once. And the deceased apparently loved butterflies. Everything in the house was to do with butterflies. And at the graveside, when we were doing the committal, um, a flock of robins came and settled uh, on the grave. Now, robins don't flock. They're usually um, singular characters out and about in ones. I've never seen a flock of robins before. So I thought that was very, very strange. But having said that, lots of spooky things have happened in my job and you can't dismiss them. These are beautiful papers. They are papers. They're thinner than the 6x6. Six six, but they're lovely. Really lovely. So I hope those have been of interest uh, to some of you. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I really enjoyed seeing what was in this month's uh, box of goodies. And I'll put them all away nicely when I'm off camera. So thank you ladies for looking in. And uh, I'm not sure whether I shall subscribe to the next boxes. I'm not sure yet because I've got that much I need to uh, work with. It's, um, I should be de-stashing, not, not buying more. But I can guarantee the quality and that's a beautiful box. So thanks for looking in everyone. Bye for now. Bye.